All right, welcome to another kick bass bounce tutorial. I'm your host, Everfly, and what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how to make your basses a lot fatter and how you can spread them out. Uh, basically what happens is, is we create a sub, a mid, and a high that gets spread, and this is gonna make your basses sound a lot fatter, and it's gonna make something very simple like a square wave sound very huge, so here we go. All right, so step one is to create a bass. Uh, we're gonna use a basic square wave for the sound. And we just got the cutoff filter wide open. We got it in mono here. And it's just a basic square wave, so it's nothing special right now. And here's what we came up with. Okay, nothing too special about that. First thing you want to do is create a, an EQ. You're going to add an EQ. And you're going to cut. I use musical cuts. And what that means is I figure out the frequency of the lowest note and the highest note. And I'll cut based on what those frequencies are. So this is A flat. We got A flat as our lowest note. And that's, that's around 103.83. So this EQ doesn't allow you to do odd numbers uh, or precise cuts like that, so we take it down to 102 just so we catch everything that we want to, or everything that we want, and this is what we came up with. All right, the next thing you want to do is throw it in mono, just in case, if it's not already in mono. All right, so to fatten that bass up, we're going to go down and create a sub bass. Uh, basically same thing so we got a sine wave and I just copied down the notes so we got that right there and this is what it sounds like without any kind of plugins alright so you notice we got these pops and clicks you can use the attack uh, raise the attack and release settings if you if you want to get rid of those and the other way to do that is to just use an EQ again musical cuts so my cut at 104 on the high end and the lowest note is an A flat again uh, an octave down and that's 51.91 Hertz uh, so actually let's see let's take it down we'll take it down to about 50 Hertz alright so we lost the clicks with the high cut and we removed any extra I guess you can call it a uh, sonic fat all right, so that's our sub bass. So we play those two together. All right, so it sounded pretty full there. Oh, again, uh, the same thing here. We just threw to mono. Same deal right there. That's for the sub bass. This compressor is actually the side chain. We'll get to that later. Okay, so there's nothing too special about this bass right now. It sounds like a square wave and a sine wave, just a sub. So it's a little fatter, but the next thing what we want to do is we're going to create a send. Uh, just send it to a, an available bus, doesn't matter. This is on the regular base. And I option click here. This will bring the send up to 0 dB. And this is the send by itself with nothing special. All right, so that's just our mid base. What I want to do here is I don't want to spread any of the low notes. So add an EQ. And I'm gonna, I did a thousand hertz, but let's say, let, let's just hear what it sounds like. So here's our bass. Think about spreading the highs. Yeah. So I like, I like, I like a thousand. See, that's a little too much right there. So we'll just type in thousand. All right, so we haven't done anything yet. All we've done is basically just add a boost, uh, a thousand hertz and above. So the next thing you want to do is add a sample delay. Uh, did you hear that? It instantly spread out the bass. Here's without, and here's with. All right. So basically what this does is you're going to take the original sing signal, you're going to delay it to the left speaker by whatever this is, 99, I don't even know, the nanoseconds or something like that. And you're going to delay the right side even more than the left side. So just think about the signal hits the center, it bounces to the left, and then it bounces to the right, and that gives you like a pseudo stereo kind of effect. Alright, so the next thing I want to do, just to brighten it up some more, 
as I add a bit crusher or some kind of distortion. I like bit crushers. Uh, and this just excites the upper harmonics just a little bit. And here's what that sounds like. It just adds just a tiny bit. You don't need too much. All right, and this is the bass with the spread, without the sub. Let's A, B it. We'll mute the send. Yeah, see what that does? Adds a ton, ton of sound to it. All right, so now let's throw the sub in. Man, that sounds a lot better, doesn't it? Okay, so the next thing you want to do is you want to take all of your, your bases. So we got the, the, the mid bass, the original bass, the sub, and we got the spread. Where's the spread at? Was that five? Yep, bus five. Here's the bass spread. And you would label that just to, just to keep everything organized. And you're going to change all of these to a, to a single output. So we got bus six is what I, what I put it to. So here's our bass sum. This is all the bass, all the basses together. And I just add a compressor. This is the glue by Cytomic. Very nice compressor. Probably reduction. You get your threshold down. So you get about six dB worth of reduction. So here's what that sounds like. Yeah, about five or six dB. Medium attack, medium release. We got the threshold, we got a four to one right here, or a ratio, four to one ratio. Okay, and this right here, this compressor, this is the sidechain compressor, and this, here's a limiter, just to make sure we catch everything. Yeah, see the limiters, oh, yeah, barely did anything right there, and that's just to catch any extraneous, uh, any extraneous peaks there. Okay, so with the sidechain, I wanted the sub and the bass sum to be sidechained differently. Uh, without this sidechain here, it sounded it sounded a little muddy, uh, so I just tightened it up, the sidechain right here on the sub, and then I added a sidechain on the whole thing to get to catch everything, so this is what the, all that sounds like. And I got the sidechain solo saved here, so I can uh, solo anything and the sidechain will keep going. So you just uh, control click on the solo right there, and that'll solo save it. So here's what it sounds like. without a side chain. Let's see. This it's got a little got a little bit of a transient thing going on in the front there, so just to take that down a little bit, we throw that side chain in. Yeah, it sounds nice. Alright, and it sounds even better with all of the drums. So let's see. Oh, we gotta unsolo those. All right, and this is the end result, our spread and all. Nice. All right, so that's a trick you can use uh, just to tr just try on some basses. Uh, there's a couple things in there you can use, you know, with a stereo bass. You know, I would I would split it up into a, into a sub, and then I guess you call it the mid. Uh, what we did here, this is with mono basses, and you get a pseudo, pseudo stereo effect with the send. And yeah, that's about it. So check out the website www.kickbassbounce.com. There's tons of tips there. Uh, thanks for all your support, and we'll see you soon.